It is time once again for the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where we are playing Innovation Echoes of the Past with these Echoes of the Past. Um, all the real people are kind of Echoes of the Past in some ways, but um, these are some of the, the players who uh, first entered the tournament uh, way back when, many, many years ago, when we were all younger and more starry eyed and ready to embark on this grand tournament full of real people. So we're playing Echoes of the Past. That's the It's the simplest, I would say, of the innovation expansions, if you're familiar with the basic game. It's uh, most similar to that. It changes the fewest rules. It adds bonuses, forecasts, which are these super things you can do if you meld a card and you have a card under blah, blah, blah. I'll talk about that if, if it happens. And it has uh, little echo effects, which are fun. All right, so we got Perfume down, Archery down, and Ruler down. Hair Bear's turn. He's going to go ahead and do the Archery just to get a bunch of cards in his hand. Normally you use Archery to uh, get cards that are higher up in age from people. Um, if they're higher than you or if you just want to take their higher cards. Um, but in a three-player game, if you have the Icon Dominance, it's also useful just to draw more cards because they're essentially drawing cards and then giving them to you. All right, we've gone through a round of play and you can kind of start to see how their civilizations are shaping up. It's easier to see it when you're just using Echoes of the Past or just the base set because you just have these innovations. You don't have these like specific things like people or cities to think about. You just have these kind of broader things. Like Demi, for example, I picture him having a place with like lots of like quiet rowboats where they're writing poetry to each other and it smells bad. I'm not a big fan of perfume. I like the card, I don't like it as a smell. Um, whereas Hair Bear's place I think is kind of a frightening place to, to be. Um, lots of like rituals and violence. Um, stubby, you have Noodles, Ruler, Crossbow. That's a little bit weirder to think about. Um, maybe Stubby is on a throne because he has this crossbow and it's like, wow, that's a great invention. It's no one else has thought of anything like that. And he's just like some some maiden is feeding him noodles. I think that's that's a good picture. All right, it's gonna be Hair Bear's turn. Look at Demi's lovely place. Now they have ice skates. I just think that that would, I, I really like to watch his civilization. I don't know that I would wanna live there, but I think they're, they would, it, they'd be really fun ancient people. Um, he has this writing. He'd like to go to two. The problem is Stubby would copy it, and then Hair Bear would also get to two. Stubby's already at two. Demi does, doesn't want everyone to be at two. If he's going to go to two, he would like at least someone to be behind. Unfortunately, that archer is just sitting out there. Um, he also is kind of trying to collect towers himself, Demi is, because he could just take... Um, Stubby's too with the perfume. He could entice it over there. And he's getting close to being dominant, but not quite there. It's going to be Hair Bear's turn. He, he added the wheel to his like scary place of mystic archery. Um, Stubby now uh, no longer is using the crossbow. Kind of already has his place. He's already like created enough fear with the crossbow that now he's, he's starting to build up while you know having the people build up as he's eating his noodles uh, with construction. And I think he was something, yeah, construction superintendent. So that's a that's a very appropriate thing for him to have. Um, and he can just supervise the construction of like maybe a monument to study. Hair Bear was using his, his mysticism. He's trying to get a lot of stuff on his board. That unfortunately covered up his archery with metalworking. So he just kind of like Stubby, um, took away his weapon and is is turning towards um, uh, making. So no longer um, hurting, but building, which can also hurt, I guess, building. It's like a fungus. Demi got the city-states. He melded it, and he's going to do it. So they all have to give him a card with a tower on it. Um, I think he's going to have to... Oh, you know what I did? I covered up... I should have covered up this perfume. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, 
Stubby's going to give him the noodles. So he never had writing and perfume at the same time. I bet that was kind of confusing to you watching. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I just go too fast and I make silly mistakes. I'm not going to dwell on it. We're going to move on. Still, he's got a nice place here. He's got his city states with his noodles and ice skates and riding and rowing and wow. Um, and let's see, Hair Bear will give him maybe metalworking. Yeah, I think we'll give him metal working. Then he has his his arrow back. He's like, oh, I'm just working on some horseshoes. And then, nope, it's a steel-tipped arrows. Now I can take your twos. And that's probably what he'll do. All right, after some significant trauma, um, Stubby has really just kind of zeroed in onto his own specialty, which is basically building buildings and watching people build buildings. He's got his construction, he has his mathematics. That all, that's all he has, that's all he needs. Um, over to Demi here, we know how nice his place is. Let's see what he's gonna do on his turn. He has canal building. I think that's kind of perfect. Um, oh, but he doesn't have the oars. I wish he had the oars up and the canals and the riding and the ice skates. You could have like, you could row in the summer through the canals, you could ice skate in the winter. Um, as you're writing your poetry. And after scoring a couple cards from copying metalworking, which is no longer there, I got covered up by optics, which I think is more appropriate to what uh, Demi has going on here. Um, Hair Bear used pottery to score three, took the first achievement of the game. So the civilization with pottery, the wheel, archery, and mysticism, that kind of scary civilization with their weird, like, sexualized pots um, is currently in the lead. Demi's poets got a bit rec reckless with their, their look into optics. I, I think maybe they, you know, became enchanted with the study of light, and that led them to um, really want to understand it, which suddenly they got into machinery and engineering as a result. So his, his, he's kind of getting a rougher edge on his society, but maybe that will help him. Um, they definitely seem to want to splay left now. Hair Bear finally has something to put into his weird sexualized pots. Uh, fermenting, he can put alcohol in it and have this uh, these mystic bacchanal revelry things with arrows and wheels and all that. Um, Stubby, meanwhile, I don't know if I mentioned he had he got philosophy last turn. So his society is kind of going like to, at, a, at an opposite direction of Demi, but they're kind of crossing in the same place. So he's starting out very much like the hard, like numbers and building and whatnot, which has kind of led them to um, maybe the, the softer side of things with philosophizing, thinking about life, that kind of thing. Whereas Demi, they were very much enjoying life and their smells and their activities. Um, but then, you know, through a study of nature, came to machinery and engineering and all that. So it's it's kind of interesting to see the balance. And then Hair Bear is often doing his own thing. So it's now Stubby's turn. Let's go ahead and do his turn. Hair Bear celebrated a little too soon uh, his his alcohol. He's about to lose it. Um, Demi is doing city states. City states and engineering is kind of a nice combination for him to have right now, because if he can decrease the number of towers that Hair Bear has, um, he can just take all of them, basically, which is m most of his board. So he's doing city-states to get fermenting. Hair Bear gave him the thing with the fewest towers. Um, so now he has to decide if he wants to do it again, or if he get a, did a leftward splay here, would that give him enough? That would give him an extra two towers. Right now it's uh, two, three, four, five to, to eight. To, uh, eight, so that wouldn't give him enough yet. So he has to go ahead and do city states again. He was supposed to get a draw one. Um, gosh, that's tough. He doesn't want to lose any of them. He's going to just lose them all anyway, though. So I guess he'll give up his wheel. That seems le less integral to what he has going on than the archery and the mysticism. That seems like core to hair bear, right? Okay, so pretty aggressive turn from Demi. I guess that's what engineering will do. You you make a catapult, you you got to use it. Or is it a trebuchet? Maybe a trebuchet. Yeah. All right, Hair Bear got rid of his mysticism with education, which is kind of fitting. I guess that's probably why they're both purple cards. Um, 
covered this, covered up the mysticism, so it's he's not going to lose it to the engineering now. And that also gave him the three he needed on his board, or two or higher, to get the next achievement. So Hair Bear, still in the lead, even though he's um, changed his ways. What was working before is no longer working. So time to get educated. Let's go to Stubby. Stubby got some invention last time, uh, which I think kind of fits with where he's going. You know, construction to math leads to mathematics, leads to philosophy, leads to invention. Um, so, you know, who knows what crazy things he's going to build. Um, he could splay this right and draw and score a four, or he could draw and math up. I think he's going to draw and math up. Um, so he's drawing a four, and then he's going to return it, and math up! Oh, banking. That's what you came up with? That's what you invented? Banking? <sighs> All right, Demi used his engineering again, or no, for the first time, actually. That led to a big change in Hair Bear society. No longer even has the archery. They became educated. Maybe they decided that there's other stuff they can do with their pottery other than weird rituals. Uh, the rituals stopped making sense anyway. So now he just has pottery and education for Hair Bear. Um, Stubby's crossbow is now revealed again, though. So I think that you want to protect your money if you're a banker. So I guess they built the vaults already, and now he, he needs to guard it. Let's go to Hair Bear. Hair Bear got some agriculture. Use that to score. Thought that was a better way to score than using the pottery. I don't know. Um, Stubby, meanwhile, mathed up again, but covered up his math. So no more mathing up for now. Uh, but still got a healthy age lead. He's at six, where everyone else is at three. Um, back over to Demi here. Hair Bear agriculture to score again, uh, which let him get the third achievement. He is now halfway to victory um, on achievements. And I think we'll have to see what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Megatron because my camera is almost out of battery and it's just so much easier to, to do it with a battery than to be plugged in. So we'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where we have these interesting civilizations and we get to see what becomes of them. Here's a oh interesting thing about Demi. You know, after he started drinking, he hadn't got the wheel. Um, his, he's going to start leaving his city-state to go out and colonize other places. He kind of already started doing that with his trebuchet, um, but now he's gonna be doing it, I guess, as a, as a policy. Um, we have, I, I really like how Hair Bear totally changed from this kind of like violent, revelrous culture to um, these kind of gentle farmers that read books. And Stubby kind of had a sadder trajectory going from um, building to philosophy. He's still got philosophy, but he's kind of, you know, had the chance to invent something and he invented banking. Banking's not terrible, but it's not the most fun thing you can invent. I mean, if you can invent stuff, invent something fun, right? All right, we'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Innovation echoes of the past.